Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the class for the Surah Al Fatiha. Inshallah, we are done with the lesson of Haruf al Mufrida, which are the separate letters that we just did today, also. Um, recap them. And then we did the lesson of Haruf al Muraqaba, the compound letters. When these separate letters are joined together, how they look like, we did that also. After that, inshallah, we will, we will be doing a lesson called Haraka. Let's see what this lesson is. Haraka. Haraka in Arabic. In English, we call it motion. Motion or movement. Araka means motion or movement. The opposite is when something doesn't move, a stationary thing. For example, uh, this whiteboard is stationary. So it is the opposite of haraka. For example, this fan is moving, or if it starts moving like this, like a pendulum, now it is in motion. This motion is called haraka. So haraka means motion or movement. There are certain symbols of haraka. There are basically three symbols of haraka. Three symbols of haraka. What are the three symbols of haraka? Let me show you. The first one is called fatha. This is the first symbol. It's called Fatha. The second symbol is called Kasra. And the third symbol is called Three symbols of haraka. First one is fatha. The first one is fatha. Second one is kasra. Third one is dhamma. Dod. T H E D. Do. Dhamma. Yeah, dhamma. How they look like? For example, this is a letter. This is this is a, a, an Arabic letter. It may be alif. It may be ba. Any any letter. If there is a slanting slash at the top, this is called a fatha. A slanting slash at the top of a letter is called fatha. What we call it? Fatha. The same slanting slash underneath a letter. If it is underneath a letter, same slanting slash, if it is underneath a letter, we call it kasra. What we call it? Kasra. If there is a small wow, a small wow at the top of a letter, we call it Dhamma. Let's see it again. Three symbols of haraka Fatha, Kasra, and Dhamma. A slanting slash at the top of a letter is called a Fatha. A slanting slash underneath a letter is called kasra. A small wow at the top of a letter is called a dhamma. Make sense? <clears throat> Let's recap it. Haraka means motion or movement. Three symbols of haraka. Fatha, kasra and dhamma. How they look like? The shapes. A slanting slash at the top of a letter is called a fatha. A slanting slash underneath a letter is called a kasra. And a small wow at the top of a letter is called a dhamma. It's called a dhamma. One more thing. Haraka means 
motion or movement there is also embedded in haraka means it's one it's one motion one haraka is one when you say harakatain abdul haraka it is motion tain means two so harakatain means two motions or two movements why because in the quran some letters we stretch only one haraka we stretch them only one haraka and there are certain letters that we stretch them to haraka they are called harakatain so harakatain means two motions or two movements inshallah when the words will come i will explain you how we do it so right now haraka means motion movement three symbols of haraka fatha kasra slanting slash at the top of a letter is called fatha slanting slash underneath a letter is called kasra and a small dhamma at a small vowel at the top of a letter is called a dhamma Harakatain means two movements or two motions. Two movements or motions. So this is all about haraka. Now we'll go to one more thing. I'm coming to that, yeah. There is a small chart I'll make over here. How we pronounce what we do. upper line is thin letter ba is a thin letter the lower line is thick letter this is a fatha this is a kasra this is a dhamma this is a fatha kasra dhamma now <coughs> when there is a fatha on a thin letter fatha on a thin letter we always smile what we do we always smile However, if the fatha is on a thick letter, then we don't smile. So the fatha on a thin letter is a smile. Fatha on a thick letter is no smile. We don't smile. Now this column, the column of kasra, thin letter, thick letter, we always smile. It does not matter the kasra is on a thin letter or the kasra is on a thick letter. We always smile. So the only difference is this column. Only this is the difference. Thin letter fatha, we smile. Thick letter with the fatha, we don't smile. Kasra, whether thin letter or thick letter, we always smile. And dhamma, this column, we always make the lips round whether the dhamma is on a thin letter or on a thick letter when we pronounce them we are talking about the pronunciation then we always make the lips round for example this is ba fatha ba we smile however this one we don't smile to fatha look at me to ba to kasra on a thin letter is a smile ba kasra B. Taw kasra. Tri. Dhamma, we make the lips round. Thin letter dhamma, ba dhamma, bu. Taw dhamma, tu. Make sense? This is, we will apply this thing in the whole of the Quran. The Quran is full of fatha kasra and dhammas. <coughs> Whenever they come, we apply this chart. Over here, it looks a little bit intimidating that I don't know what this thing is. But when we apply it, you will see how easy it is. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is all the lesson that we are done with today for the Haraka, inshallah.